guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Mads. And in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a what's in my bag. I'll be showing you guys what I keep in my backpack for school and just doing like a little tour of it. Let's get into the video. Here's my backpack. I'll go ahead and change the angle so that you guys can like see me like. I'll go ahead and change the camera angle so you guys can see a little bit better. Okay, we switched locations. Also the lighting over here is way better than on my desk because my desk doesn't have like any like natural light. But my bed does, so I'm gonna try and film some of this on my bed. Also, I'm really sorry if you can hear my dogs in the back. They're playing downstairs and they're really, really loud. But here's my backpack. I got it from Lululemon and I think that I talk more about it in one of my other videos. I'll link that up here. Just like a little like overview. I have a ribbon up here. I also have this little keychain that I made on one of the zippers. In the cup holder area, I have my Awala. In this little like cup holder pocket, these are the pins that I mainly grab for when I go to write something. I have like my pencil and stuff in my pencil pouch that I'll show you in a little bit. Okay, let's look in this first little pocket here. I have my calculator, and then I also have this little pouch. I'll show you what's in it. And then usually I also keep my keys in here. So I just have this little like wallet thing from Lululemon. And then I have some like keychains and stuff on it as well. So in the first pocket, I have my little calculator. I have some stickers on it that I use just so I can like remember that this one is mine. I have this little sticker of Felix from Stray Kids. And then I also have like a butterfly and just some other like random stickers and some washi tape up top. But yeah, this is just like a graphing calculator that I use for math. And then this is a little pouch that I have as well in my front pocket. And I have this little mirror that opens up. I also have this little mint lip balm. I also have some Christmas hand sanitizer from Bath & Body Works. Because this is like the only hand sanitizer that I have. I have this little lucky cat figurine. Some crystals. I think this is Tiger's Eye and Carnelian. Some hair ties, just in case I didn't bring one to school. And last but not least, I have some tweezers. So up here, I have my pencil pouch, and it has a highlighter stain on it, ignore that. But I have my pencil pouch. Back here, I just keep my laptop, and then I have all my binders and folders and stuff. And I'll go through all of those. But I have my computer, and then I keep my binders and folders right here. Okay, here's my pencil pouch. I'll go ahead and show you guys what's in it. So here's my pencil pouch. It's just like a lot of different things. But I have this washi tape. It's just this like tealish blue like grid pattern on it. And I have a huge collection of highlighters and pens. Okay, so for highlighters, I have these ones that are from Muji that I got in New York. I really like them because they click up here just like a pen, so it's like this. And it has a much like smaller tip for highlighting smaller words. Then I have these three highlighters that I showed you in my August reset video, I think. But I just use these for like highlighting like titles. And then I have my pins and stuff. These ones are just little like ballpoint pins that I use for taking notes. I have the other ones on the side of my backpack because those are the colors that I usually reach for the most. Then I also use these two pins a lot. This one is also from Muji. It's one of the gel pins. It's the size is 0.5. And then this one is an older pen that I found, but it's uh, an erasable one. So it has like the pen part right here. And then on the cap, it has uh, the little erasing bit. And then the part where you hold it is like a little pig. I think it's really cute. And then I also just have like a plain black Sharpie. So yeah. And then I also keep some pencils and some lead in there just for like taking some more notes. Now onto the lippies that I keep in here. Okay, and these are all the lip products that I bring to school. I'll go through each one, but these are just like the basic ones that I bring. So with the lip products that I bring to school, I like to bring one with color, one that's like glossy, and then another one that's making sure my lips aren't dry and stuff. Okay, so first for color, I like to use this e.l.f. Uh, what is this? Core Hydrating Lip Shine in the shade Happy. But I just like it because it's like a chapstick, but it has a little bit more color to it, and it also has a little heart in the center, which I thought was really, really cute. I mainly just bought it because the heart is really cute. Next, this one is my personal favorite. It's also from e.l.f. It's the Glow Reviver Lip Oil. I think that's what it's called. It's just the e.l.f. lip oil in the shade Jam Session, I think, but 
but it's just really really nice I know it looks really like dark and stuff but it just goes on really like clear and just glossy and I really really like it it's one of my favorites next is this lip glowy balm from Laneige correct me if I'm saying Laneige wrong I don't really know how to pronounce it but this is uh, the flavor berry I really like it because it smells really nice and it also feels really good but besides that this is probably the one that I don't wear as often or use as often. Next are my Summer Fridays lip balms. I really really like these. They're pretty expensive in cherry which has a little bit more of a tint to it. I like it. <laughs> my dogs keep barking and I really like it and it kind of tastes like a cherry like Jolly Rancher. And then this one is pink sugar. I've had this one for a little bit longer so there's like less in it but it's also really really nice and really smooth and there's not as much of a color on it but it's a very like sweet scent. Plus I have this EOS lip balm that doesn't have like any like tint to it, but it also doesn't have like a flavor or a scent name on it. It just smells like vanilla, so I really like it and I just keep it with me in case I just need like a lip balm or a chapstick instead of like lip gloss or lip oil. I used to keep this Wangyu photo card with me in my backpack, but then I got really scared one day that it was gonna like break or something because I don't usually keep like photo cards with me a bunch. So instead of bringing this photo card to school, I put this other photo card in my phone case instead. This is Sungman from Stray Kids. I put him in this little like shiny photo card sleeve. That way it doesn't break or get as damaged easily. I also use this mini like stationary thing. It's from UB. I just got it at Target. In it, it has some mini scissors that I use. It has some tape. This little mini stapler. I usually just keep this in my pencil pouch. I don't actually take this whole like box to school because I don't have enough room in my backpack. But I do take this, this mini hole puncher, this little thing that takes out the staplers. I also take some of these and just like I just kind of like throw them in my pencil pouch because I don't really have anything to put them in. And then it also comes with this little pencil sharpener. Here is my computer. This is my high school's computer because I don't own a laptop of my own. But I just like decorate it with some stickers. There's a little like butterfly down here that's just kind of like peeled off because I've had it on there for so long. Then I also have this little like yellow daisy flower sticker. And then over here I have this little raccoon and then a heart sticker. My friend drew a little smiley face on the raccoon's stomach. Man, the lighting sucks right here. And here's where I keep some of my schoolwork. I didn't bring out all of my binders and stuff because I have a lot. But in this yellow folder, I keep all of my Spanish work. And it's just easier because we just get a bunch of like paperwork and then we like turn it in. Here's my English binder. I do a lot of annotations and stuff in it. So my highlighters end up coming in handy for this. Here's some examples of some of my notes. Not really the most organized, but it's what works for me, so it's okay. This is my World History and Geography notebook. It was required for the class to get five star, five subject notebook. I think it's five subjects, something like that. Essentially, we just like staple in all of the worksheets and stuff so that then we can go back to it instead of having to keep track of it in the binder, which I think is also a really good idea because then you can like take notes and stuff. Here's some little drawings and doodles from my pages. Also here's some of my notes in my math binder. At first, actually, I hated math, but I like math now. Actually, question of the day, do you like or dislike math? Because I know a lot of people don't like it, but I actually kind of like it. I think that it's kind of fun sometimes. Anyways, that's the end for this What's In My Bag video. Comment down some videos that you'd like to see from me. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.